Welcome to a new Alfresco video. We are talking today about some common login issues uh, when uh, people evaluate Alfresco and especially related to the Docker Compose deployment. Many of you are reporting this kind of problems when using Alfresco SER, the UI, the legacy UI, or when using the ACA application, uh, the new uh, UI. Uh, typically, if you uh, go to the main page and you use the full credentials admin admin you are getting this kind of error so your authentication details haven't been recognized or alfresco content service may not be available at this time and uh, the common uh, way of thinking is okay my credentials are wrong but we have also the other approach when this happened on the Alfresco uh, on the Alfresco content application, the message is not that clear. We get just only you've entered an unknown username or password. However, if you uh, look at the JavaScript console, then we can find that there is an error trying to connect to the repository. So again, we are able in both cases to identify that the, the real cause of this problem may be that Alfresco is not ready. Alfresco repository, Alfresco content service, we are naming that Alfresco repository. If we look at all the services that are uh, composing an Alfresco deployment, we can find that uh, there are many different parts that needs to be ready uh, for everything to be working as expected. So we have a web proxy, we have also the UI applications, and these UI applications are relying on the Alfresco repository. Also, Alfresco repository is relying on the database, on the transformation service, on the message service, and on the search services. So um, in this case, what happens is that SER and content application are trying to connect with the Alfresco service, and this is not working. So you can see this error on a screen. And if you look at your logs, then you can see uh, this kind of problem mainly on Solar 6. So this is how you can identify that in your case, the problem is that the Alfresco repository is not working. So how to uh, how to realize that problem also with the Docker desktop? If you open the Docker desktop on the container section, you can see that all the other services, Active and Queue, Solar Sys, Transfer Core, Postgres, Server, Content Application and Proxy are live and they are running. While the Alfresco service, the Alfresco container is wrong. So it's, it's not running at all. So uh, this is what happens, and this is how you can realize that you have a problem with your Fafresco deployment. In this case, if we look up the status, this exceeded 137, we can find that this is a default exit code for an Alfresco for, for a container. And in this case, this is that you have not enough resources. So you have a list with all the different exit codes. But in this case, you need to check if you have uh, enough RAM memory or CPUs or uh, storage available. And you can also increase the memory limit for Alfresco in your Docker Compose YML. So let's do that. Let's increase this, uh, this memory uh, just to check that we are solving the problem. If you open your uh, Docker Compose, then you can see that the memory limit is like too small. So we are going to increase that a bit. And after that, we are going to stop the deployment. You can see this common, uh, also this, this common error mm -hmm. that implies that uh, Alfresco is not up and running. So we are stopping everything and we are starting that again to apply the new memory setting.
Once everything is up and, and ready, uh, we can go back to the browser just to see if that helps with the problem. So with the same credentials, we can test that in Sir, and we can test the same thing in the Alfresco content application. So now we can see that both services are running with uh, default credentials. So increasing the memory for the Alfresco content repository is enough for this case. If that is not enough, if you are still experimenting some problems to access Alfresco from the UI applications, then remember that you can check all the logs of your containers, just getting the list of the containers and then uh, finding the, the logs with this docker logs command. Uh, remember that you can use the first four uh, characters of the docker uh, container uh, ID in order to get that. So the next step will be just to get all the containers running. You may find uh, one to look at it, for instance, the Alfresco Docker uh, Compose Alfresco, so the Alfresco repository. So you can type docker logs a6 uh, to two, and we have access to that. So we can see all the different problems that are happening inside, and we can try to identify if there is something we can fix. If there, if there are no hints on the logs, you still can try to check if that running uh, containers are uh, both live and also um, running as expected. So if the service is running and is uh, running as expected. So you can use this kind of, uh, of pros of URLs that you may check uh, to be working as expected. So for instance, we can uh, check if the Alfresco repository is running. So uh, again, we are going to uh, to look for the ID. So docker exec, uh, the ID a622, and this is the command we want to, uh, we want to uh, request on the container. So we are checking if the uh, service is up and running. So this is HTTP code uh, 200. So it's running as expected and it should be working. You have also some additional commands for all the other services uh, that are required for Alfresco. So you may uh, check all of them just to see if you can fix something that is missed. I hope that was useful. It was a, a small uh, catalog of all the different things you can check when you get a credentials invalid for both Alfresco UI applications. And without any other from my side, see you on next videos. Bye.